Good morning, everyone. So, um, this is a really, really bad situation with this dog. The dog smells incredibly bad. I can see fleas on it. Um, the owner is 75 years old and disabled. Um, you're okay. But there's just no excuse for this dog to be in this condition. I can, you can see fleas just crawling all over the dog. So I'm gonna stop and even though this dog is matted, we're gonna go ahead and get it in the bath because I can't have fleas all over my shop. Um, we're just gonna do the best we can. I've got to kill these fleas first though. I have not had a dog that's this flea infested since I opened. Okay, so we're gonna start with flea and tick shampoo. dog smells incredibly bad and I don't have anything to help with that for me. So yes, you should never have bathe a matted dog, um, but when a dog comes in and they're infested with fleas, I have to treat it to prevent other dogs that are gonna come in from getting fleas. So you can see how dirty this water is coming off. Not only is that from filth, that is from blood and flea dirt from the fleas. So I'm gonna put this on flood. And you can see that they are just everywhere on the dog. There's one there. Oh, this dog smells incredibly bad. You can just see the that is flea dirt. That That's not dirt dirt. That's flea dirt blood. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit a little bit. And we're gonna do what's called a, a wet shave. I usually don't do wet shaves, I don't like them, um, but we're gonna do one on this dog because I've gotta kill all these fleas first and I'm not going to let the dog dry because then it will um, cause the mats to become tighter. And this owner is waiting in their car for me to finish. So I'm going to just do some regular shampoo now. This guy's going to end up getting two baths. This is going to cost quite a bit more than they probably were thinking.
So this will help cut down on some of the smell. Oh, this poor dog. Oh my goodness. And I know there's going to be several comments saying, hey, you should report them. And I've said before, um, one, if I report my clients, I won't have any clients. And two, um, they see them bringing them in for grooming as bettering the situation. And they don't do anything. So... Okay, now I'm gonna rinse. Yeah, this dog still smells, I can smell it. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna dip one time just to kill any of the remaining. dog just has to be miserable. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back to rinse we're gonna rinse this out really well i'm just gonna let that sit on them i don't even know if it's a boy or girl i can't tell until just for a little bit and then i'm gonna rinse it off because i am going to be shaving them wet This poor dog. Like this makes me really mad and sad at the same time. Like I just can't. There's just no excuse for this. Like the dog is obviously very old, is partially blind, is partially deaf, and is just not in good shape. And then to allow the dog to get in this condition Like there's still dirt coming off, flea dirt. And the owner said something about they didn't bring the other dog with them. And I'm just like, what does the other dog look like? Like, OMG. So I'm gonna take a towel with me and then I'm gonna get this towel. So I'm going to take this towel and put it down on here. Oh, this dog still smells. Mmm. Oh 
and use the back side of this towel to dry my hands and then I'm going to get some gloves on. Look at that. That those are not stains like on the other towel. That's from the dog. That's just gross. Some days, and, and guys, this is not even a free groom. This is just someone scheduling and bringing their dog in. I want to make that very clear. I do free grooms all the time like this, but um, this is not a free groom. Like, they scheduled this. So I'm just going to go straight to a 10. I have to do what's best for the dog and that is shaving this dog as short as possible so when you're doing a wet shave you want to be sure to clean and oil any blades you're using when you get done You can see all these fleas. There's a flea there. There's a flea there. There's a flea there. Um, but this is why I went back to the pesticide shampoo and dip for fleas and ticks instead of using the natural. Um, you can see how quickly that shampoo and dip killed these fleas. Uh, I did not have the same experience with the natural stuff and I really wanted to use the natural stuff um, because it wasn't exposing myself or the dogs to the chemical, but I just found that it did not do a good enough job. Like this dog is just like, I hate to say this, but is like barely alive. And the dog is so thin. So when we get this dog back in the bathtub for a final bath, I'm going to use the odor eliminator shampoo. Okay, you can see. Try not to gag. This back here smells really bad in it. This is where the fleas have been. This is usually where they like to go is the base of the tail. You can see all that. I have got to remember to bring some essential oil up here. Can you stand up? Just so I can get in here.
Maybe there's one flea that it didn't get. Um, but the majority of the fleas were killed. So this table, this table, my clippers, I will change a smock before I go to the next dog. All, everything will be changed before I go and groom the next dog. You can see there's fleas in here that are still dying. <coughs> These mats have been pulling and so they've created some bruising it looks like. Okay, so I just had a regular client that was supposed to be dropping off their dog and um, they didn't want to leave their dog because this dog is covered in fleas. And with them being a regular client, a very good client, I said, you know, that's fine. I will find you another time next week. You can come in. You know, I told them all the precautions I was taking with, um, you know, disinfecting and spraying and and doing, you know, changing everything before I got started on their dog. And they were like, I just don't want to take the chance. And I said, I completely understand. And we talked a little bit about, you know, people letting their dog get this bad. And I said, yeah, I, just, I, I see it all the time. And um, so he's going to bring his dog in next week. It gives me a little more time to work on this dog, too. You okay? If this was my dog, um, I would be putting them to sleep. Um, this dog is, you know, barely functioning, is obviously miserable. Don't lick. Don't lick. You're okay.
The ears are, oh my goodness. I have never, ever seen an ear infection that bad. There is just, oh my gosh. This groom is gonna be at least $100. So when you wet shave, um, the blade does not get hot anywhere near as fast. I just can't believe anyone would let their dog get in this bad of shape. Like, there's just no excuse for this. I know this person has friends, family, neighbors that could have taken this dog to get groomed. I gotta get this side. So I am definitely going to follow up with this owner. Um, I'm going to recommend a vet visit because of the severity of the ear infection.
A lot of people want to become a groomer, but grooming is not all fun and games and playing with dogs all day. Um, we do see a lot of sad situations. There's another flea. And it's just, sometimes it's heartbreaking. Like, I really just don't understand how anyone could let their dog get in this bad of shape, ever. So I'm gonna have to go down to a 15. So I'm gonna stop, take my gloves off, and then take a picture real quick. So this 15 is working a lot better than the 10 was, so we're just going to stick with it. On regular grooms, I won't go below, you know, a 10, but when you've got a dog in this bad of shape, I mean, it's obvious that this dog hasn't been groomed in probably over a year. The nails are super long.
absolutely no teeth. It is looking really dark outside. I guess about to start storming. We've had excessive amounts of rain the last week and a half or so. We've had uh, roads collapse and bridges are starting to give way. It's been pretty bad here. I don't allow owners to stay while I'm grooming for liability reasons, but this owner is literally sitting in their car in front of the shop watching me do their dog. And it doesn't necessarily make me uncomfortable, but it just, um, I mean, I guess it does make me a little uncomfortable, but it's not because I'm doing anything wrong. It's just weird to have someone there watching while I'm it, it, if I was just grooming the dog that's fine but the fact that I'm actually whew, there's some thunder that I'm actually you know grooming the dog and filming just not used to people watching me film and then I'm talking to myself while filming so I'm sure it looks like I'm crazy who cares? Gosh dang. Uh, it's just hard to get in there. Easy, 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 easy. fleas oh my goodness okay so I'm gonna call that good for now and I'm gonna hook this dog back up real quick take these take one off and then uh, I will clean these better after, but for now, I just want to disinfect them. Yes, I know I'm touching it with my dirty glove, but it will disinfect it. 
I'm gonna get this dog in the tub. So maddening. Like I'm so mad right now. Like the dog looks way better, but seriously, like seriously. <sighs> Flea and tick shampoo again. You're okay. You're okay. But when they have so much coat, it's hard for that shampoo to get down to the skin to prevent those, and it prevents the fleas from dying. This will also shoot off any of the fleas. So I'm gonna do a flood. And then I'm just gonna let this dog sit. <sighs> I'm so mad right now, man. Just infuriating. Like, why? Why? Why have a dog if you're gonna let it get in this condition? So you can see it's automatically killed those fleas. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit, then I'm gonna do another one. And then we'll do another dip. But guys, look at this ear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? That's why the dog can't hear. <sighs> like this just ruined my whole day. Like I was having a good day and Okay, so now that the fleas are for the most part taken care of, I'm gonna do an odor eliminator. We'll see if it works without that. Odor eliminator.
Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> it's all right. I'll put it in after. It is pouring. Okay, we got that taken care of. Now I'm gonna take my empty bottle. Now we're going to dip. Half a gallon of water. We're gonna take two ounces. Oh my gosh. Two ounces. I just got that all over me. Two ounces of dip in half a gallon. And we're just going to dump it over the entire dog. Now, usually I would not um, put it like that on the face, but this guy is so bad with fleas. So, gonna get a towel. Wow, it's boring. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna get him in the cage to dry um he is obviously too frail to be using the high velocity dryer and his coat is super short so i think we'll be okay with doing cage drying today and then i'm going to show you guys the cleanup of so i have explained this in many videos but i've recently seen an increase in comments since i haven't explained it these are temperature regulated cage dryers um, if they get over a certain temperature they shut off they're not dangerous okay so first things first my clippers have been sanitized i am going to go ahead and plug them in i'm going to take this blade It's been sanitized, disinfected. Just gonna wipe off and then I'm gonna put it back. And now for the cleanup of this, just going to
this in the trash. And then this stuff is gonna go immediately into the washer. We don't want it sitting around. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take this off, one glove, and I'm just gonna put these towels in there with those because they're not dry. about to get a new at least dryer because I've tried everything I've tried the dryer balls I've tried fluffing um, the towels before I put them in there with the dryer balls this is always emptied I've checked the, the um, line that where the stuff goes out and it's just they never dry so this is going in here let me take this off over there Some soap disinfectant and we're gonna wash that stuff by itself these are flipped inside out so they're okay to touch I'll throw these away and then get the disinfectant and spray this whole table down. I have never, ever, ever, ever had an issue with fleas as long as I take precautions. And it tremendously helps to only have one dog in here at a time and not have, you know, 10 or 20 dogs in here at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag this up because it's got flea fleas in it, most of which are dead. And I'm gonna set this aside and get a new bag and then when she gets dry, we'll get her finished. Okay. Let me get this girl finished. Do the best I can. So you can see there's still fleas moving after bathing twice and dipping twice. Gosh, it is pouring. It's crazy. And uh, my ceiling's gonna start leaking because that 
that's what it does when it rains really bad. And I've told the landlord and uh, still leaks. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys something new because it's going to be easier to groom these feet if I use this. This is a hammock for dogs that don't want to stand up that I ordered with my last purchase. So you can also use this for nail trims. This is not dirty, that's stained. It's not urine. You can also use it for nail trims if dogs are difficult. I've been looking for one that was safe and I just found some of them that were out there were not safe. Um, this one is from Ryan's Pet Supply.
Those are awful smelling. I like this hammock thing. I feel so bad for this dog, like this dog doesn't even know what's going on. Like it's just lifeless. I will not be putting a bandana on this dog. Okay, gonna get the dog down and then we're gonna finish the body. I want to say the dog's name is Sophie. It's just, it's just crawling with fleas still.
So I'm gonna go dip this dog one more time since we're done. <sighs> just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Like, come on, people. Yes, I know you shouldn't pour this in the ear, pour water in the ear, but that's where these fleas are coming from. They're hiding in the ear and then coming out. That's probably why that ear is so infected. I know. So it should only take a few minutes to dry in the cage and then hopefully this rain will die down a little bit and I can take her out to her owner. But that ear in there is just terrible. Okay. All right, so here she is all finished. 